Back to uh, Neo versus Logic, Olimar versus Marth. Mm -hmm. Fantastic matchup. All right, so we're going to see if Neo has any new approaches for this matchup. We're going back to Battlefield, which is... Uh, they both took a game off uh, each other in the first set, so we'll see how it works out this time. Oh, Neo comes out guns blazing, but... Oh, wow, look at that read. He runs up, knew the roll was coming, and waited for him to get up so he could Dancing Blade him. That is how Neo plays this game. He just goes all reads. Yeah, that forward smash was a huge commitment from Neo, and it didn't allow him to cover all the options from Logic. He, it looks like he was trying to go for a read, which in some cases is mad good, but in other cases, you, you may just want to play it, you know, the Muta King style, just to cover the options and play it safe so that you can make sure you get a gimp or at least some damage. Wow, nice up B reaction out of Neo here. Logic, low on Pikmin. He's been low on Pikmin for a while. Finally gets a chance to draw some. Ooh, bad up smash, and he's getting taken nice punish for that. They both uh, missed uh, some, some reads there. Logic trying to go for the down air, and then Neo went for a forward smash. Wow! He, he had the awareness to know exactly what Pikmin he was being grabbed with and how yep. much knockback he was taking so he could land that fair afterwards. For sure. The yellow Pikmin, when they throw you, uh, they don't have any hits done. So they just have knockback, and that allows the opponent to act immediately out of it. But wow, here we go. A nice yellow up smash is going to give Logic the first blood here. So three stocks to two in game one of grand finals. Neo coming right back with his Nair, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, he Logic. just forfeited the edge guarding that he had there. And now he's taking 30% for it. <laughs> I think um, a wave bounced, uh, or sorry, his uh, side B when he turned it around was probably the wrong decision. Should have stayed facing uh, Logic. He goes for the roll behind and punishes the up smash with an up B and takes that stock pretty quickly. Only took 30 damage on his. For sure, it's definitely making this percent look neg negligible. A forward throw to forward smash would n pretty do a pretty good job of tying it up, but unable to land it at the moment. Yeah, Logic's doing a great job of controlling the stage right now, getting grabs and all sorts of landing punishes in. Finally gets hit here on this stock. It looks like the screen flickered again. I hope the players are not freaking out about it, but they seem fine. And now Logic just has commanding lead, a fairly commanding lead. Uh, I mean, <laughs> being up about 120% and now full stock. That was a just brilliant stock from Logic. He only took two damage out of like several hits. He did over 100 damage by himself. He made a lot of right calls in that case, grabbing Neo when he was running in and up smashing when Neo was about to jump in. But Neo goes hard for this edge guard and doesn't get it. Yeah, unfortunately Logic's still at too low of a percent for that fastball fair to do enough knockback to keep Logic away. So Neo stuck with this huge stock deficit here. And courageous, just running an up smash is uh like typically you'd want to back off with Olimar, but Logic likes to mix in the uh, offensive and defensive. Ooh, that looked a little bit deadly. Trying to go for that fair follow up out of down throw, but Neo still has Logic in a pretty bad position. Logic finally gets back to the stage though with a nice roll. And wow, that up B was that was questionable. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> And now Neo might be throwing this game away here. I think he, now he's just thinking of a mm, counter pick. That w that air dodge could have been punished by Logic. Uh, however, his lead is really good. So well, I'm not necessarily. He seems like he was trying to disrespect Marth there, just to uh, try to go for a forward air when Marth was off stage. At any rate, there That's we go. That's going to be nope. close to it. It's almost done. <laughs> Back throw blue, not enough to do it. Nice tipper nair. Logic looks upset about that, but he has a whole another stock to work with. Now, Logic is known for SDing, but I don't think even here he could actually do anything crazy. But if... Nope, there, it's that's going to yeah. be it. Logic takes game one in Grand Finals. And Neo gives the camera a stink eye for good measure. <laughs> Alright, I'm curious to see what he's going to pick. Maybe f I'll go back to Battlefield, fair enough. So he's using the same strategy that he did in Winner's Finals, and I'm not really sure why, because it obviously didn't work out for him last time. And now Logic has the win again. I mean, oh. Battlefield is, oh, wow. That is not <laughs> how you want to start a game as Olimar. Uh, he definitely answered back. <laughs> you think you got that game, son? Nah. <laughs> when I said the down tilts were the MVP of tonight, I think I think that just proved it. Ooh, nice whistle to get out of that, that combo there. And the percents may look even, but a whole stock ahead is Neo right now. And that's going to be a major difference maker. 
Oh, uh, he man. tried to, to go for a reset there with that side being a grab, but because Logic was in the air already, it didn't work out. Oh, he almost gets spiked. Logic goes for that dare, and had it worked out, he would have been up a whole two stocks, but Neo too smart for that. Space is well enough to not get the spike side of that hitbox. And Neo just doing a good job of covering options as opposed to committing to the forward smash like he did earlier. Nice neutral air. First hit to clash with the Pikmin, second hit to hit Olimar out. And Logic's really suffering this game. Yes, Logic can't even seem to get this first stock. Oh, a nice up to poke him away. Does Neo have a jump? Yes, yep. he does. And he's gonna... Oh, he could have forward smash punished and that would have been the end mm -hmm. of Logic, but... At any rate, Logic needs to find some way back on the stage, and he's going to do a nice slow get-up to do so. Still can't seem to get back on the stage, sitting at 143, and that is not it. It's very tough against Marth. Marth can do a good job of covering a lot of Olimar's options. That neutral air is very potent. Uh, it beats Whistle, it would beat most attacks. It's it's tough, for sure. And there, finally, that stock goes down. So now, whoa, and Neo runs right into a grab. Staying alive, though. Three stocks to one here. Ooh, that up air could have been dangerous for Logic. And oh, that's going to be it. Yeah, that's questionable up B, but um, Neo's still doing really well. So nice dancing blade to get to get uh, Logic out of uh, stage control, but Lada, Neo loses it pretty ra pretty quickly. Ooh, gets that Nair to cover, cover the platform. They're both sitting at about 50%, but Logic with that early gimp. Had he not lost that life, this game might be like super even right now, but mm -hmm. Neo, you know, Logic is known for killing himself and bringing it back, but Neo is too good for that. He doesn't let no people Pikmin. get comebacks. Uh, no pick. Oh, he's, he oh, messes oh. up the spike. Is he going to go for it again? The purple is really good, though. He gets a second purple. But oh. again, he doesn't have the range to contest with Marth, and that, even despite having two purples, wow, that surprised me. But yes, despite having two purples, again, it's not the best lineup because you really need to outspace Marth in this matchup with the forward smashes and the pivot grabs, and you can't negotiate that well when you have only purples in your lineup. At any rate, Marth forward smash hitting here, so Logic in terrible position. This stock might be gone very soon. We might see GG in just a second. Ooh. Nice fair to help yeah. him get back. I really like that. He and that, used the yellow forward air so that he could space it and get the destroying a hitbox, and I really like that too. That's probably a gimp here in a second. Yep, there nice. it is. Or not a gimp, sorry, a kill here. So now it's one stock apiece, but Logic 138. So it's basically as we saw it last game. Neo tried to go for a runaround pivot grab, but it doesn't matter. Up B going to finish that game off, and that's going to be it. 1-1 one, one here in this first set of Grand Finals. So lo this could either be tournament point for Logic or the start of something new for Neo. Yeah, we'll have to find out. And they're running it back to Battlefield again. All right, so it looks like Gentleman's Rule is, uh, is on at this tournament. Well, classic MDVA. We just say, you want to play at this stage? Do you care? Okay, like... We, we, we play on tournaments outside of stage list because we're just so chill. <laughs> Fair enough. At, at, anyway, back on this match, Neo not having the best start so far. Yeah, but the... I mean, definitely Logic has a lot of mileage, but again, Marth punish game on Olimar is really good, so I wouldn't be surprised if Neo brought this back. Yeah, so far Neo gets him in a good position, can start the juggle game. Not able to get him on that top platform, though. Good, good stuff from Logic to get away. Yeah, he whipped that forward air too. Uh, he, he just he wasn't close enough to uh, Logic, so Logic was able to get a quick up smash. And now with Logic having stage control, nonetheless not able to edge guard um, Neo as well. I mean, Olimar in general can't edge guard Marth as well. Uh, forward smashes do a pretty good job of negotiating with Marth, but Marth has, definitely has ways around it. Yeah, but as of right now, Neo can't seem to find a way to approach. It looks like he's debating with himself between not approaching and getting hit, and that seems to be what he's done here. He's taken an up smash, and that's going to be first stock. Logic only taking 37 damage. Oh, but now he's starting to bring it back. We have He's just throwing out the aerials. He says, you can't deal with this. <laughs> You've only got Pikmin. Oh, that's, that could be curtains. Oh, yeah, per that's it. What yep. a play from Neo to bring yep. that back. Logic with a huge advantage, and Neo said, nope, eat my sword, and he just threw it out until Logic was dead. I think he's going to try it again. Here he is. I mean, that punish game, son, I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? That's, Olimar is one of the characters that's just the most susceptible to getting juggled. Just You can see it in his recovery options. 
Yep, Len. Logic was taking a lot of hits, but now, now that he finally has stage control, he can go back to doing what he was doing, and all of a sudden, this game is pretty even, mm. considering how much of a lead Logic had early on. All right, so now Neo with uh, stage control, a nice down tilt to put Logic on the edge. He's going to try and down tilt that double jump again. It's been working it wonders for him. He keeps trying it. Yeah, it's so hard. They just, Logic's trying several options, and Neo messed up there. Otherwise, that would have... Oh, nice, nice up, B. up B. But yeah, otherwise, that could have been uh, more shield pressure and more stage pressure for Neo. So Neo now has taken two stocks in a row, one from 30 and one from zero on this one stock he has here. So good play to him. If he takes another stock, it's almost as if a, a full three stock happened on one life. Oh, gets grabbed out of his walk approach, though. Yeah, Neo seems to be getting grabbed a fair amount. Logic knows when to go for that dash grab. A nice up smash going to take away Neo's stock. And all, Logic can definitely still make this comeback. Yep, one stock apiece here. And again, if Logic takes this stock, he wins the tournament. If not, we go to bracket reset. And I, one thing I don't see Neo doing, I don't see him forward airing and then grabbing, because he's pretty much conditioned logic to shield every time he misbases a forward air. So I wonder if Neo's going to put that into his gameplay. I wouldn't be surprised. Neo is known to do crazy stuff like that and start uh, conditioning people and getting them to do exactly what he wants them to. He's known for reading and, and making those types of decisions. But right now he's got logic on the edge, and that's not where logic wants to be at all. Good coverage. He didn't really space himself well to punish that roll, and that's why Logic got hit backwards. So it allowed Logic to have a second chance at life, and it could be really bad for Neo. But at his, considering his high percentage, <laughs> any one hit from Logic is going or from Neo on Logic is going to be very bad for Logic, since again, just once he gets him in that lead situation, it's going to be really tough. But Logic power shielding enough smash, staying alive right now, racking up damage by just running away. That's what Alomar needs to do. He's just camp, camp, camp. Right now he's off stage. It's not fun at all. And now he's low on Pikmin, and that's going to be it. Down smash to clean him out. And so we have a bracket reset. All right, all right. This is going to be very interesting. Neo's definitely saying, you know, I'm, I'm not out. And we're going back to Battlefield. Yeah, I don't think you guys have seen enough Battlefield today. So <laughs> they're going to give you guys a nice little treat and show you what Battlefield looks like. Here it is. If you haven't seen it yet, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I mean... Most people would go to Smashville, so it's a it's a decent alternative uh, if you wanted to look for something a little fresh in your in your average American set. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And so far, the game pretty even so far. Nothing crazy. No early kills like we've been seeing from Logic and Neo. You know they're right. They know this is the last set. This decides everything. So it comes down to what happens here. Now Logic opting to throw the weight off stage so that he has an opportunity to get a better lineup. And I'm pretty sure that could have been enough smash punish, especially with the purple, would have gotten him a lot of mileage. Um, Ooh, yeah, the tipper that was, and air. That, oh, yeah, I was wondering if Neo was going to wait for the whistle and then try to punish accordingly. But when you have a move like whistle, which is a 20 frame move, and from 2 to 16, there's armor. So there's only really five uh, frames of vulnerability. It's pretty hard to punish. Yeah, definitely. But at any rate, Logic wasn't able to grab that ledge there, so mm -hmm. he's going to lose that first stock. Neo sitting only at 70. That's not really Olimar kill percent at all. So he ha he can take damage on this stock still and rack up the damage on Logic's second stock. I'll tell you what is Olimar kill percent, and that's about 90. With that purple up smash, It <laughs> that's one of the things that you know just have to remember as Olimar. I can kill this guy at 80, 90, 100, you know? It's... Uh, it, it definitely adds a comeback factor to Olimar, and it's one of the reasons that makes him a very strong character. And new, uh, a, a yellow up air will poke through the bottom of Battlefield, although Logic will need an up B to make it back to the edge. Had Neo shielded it completely, that would have been very bad for Logic. Oh, nice up B there. Not going to kill. And he's Neo's just now using that double jump. Good job. Just conserve it. Some of the Pikmin fell off. <laughs> I hate it when that happens, personally. Oh, he gets up B'd too. He's in a really bad position. Luckily, he uses that purple to get back, but now he's getting juggled and he only has one Pikmin. Again, this another overcommitment. However, in that case, it wasn't so bad because Logic only had one Pikmin, only has two at the moment. But having two Pikmin like this, I would say, like just having two non purple Pikmin, or at least non whites as well, is really good because, again, you still get that range to negotiate with Marth. And there it is, a blue back throw is going to 
finally get that kill for him, but he's at 136 on his second life, and Neo is just starting his second life. And I like how Neo goes for the forward air to up B on the edge. It's safe pressure, and uh, Neo could have just held up and away on the control stick so that he wouldn't get stage spiked by the up B, and that would have been logic stock. For sure, yeah. Oh, and that time he just waited for an up smash, and he's just <laughs> he's spot dot spamming now. Yeah, after after an up smash read for I'm not sure what what he was trying to get there. Nonetheless, there nice up smash punish there. So now it's two stocks one Neo with a pretty um pr pretty nice lead right here in this first game of this bracket reset. Oh yeah, Neo. It definitely looks like Neo figured something out. He tried to connect a dancing blade out of forward air, which normally works, but. Logic was able to get to the ground fast enough and shield it. And Logic's not out by any means. No, he's starting to bring it back. A nice spinny thing to purple up smash. <laughs> Racks up the damage here. Now sitting at 120 is Neo. You know, one good kill here, and that's going to make this game dead even. And ooh, another forward smash from yeah, Logic. Yeah, Neo is just walking in there. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess he just disrespected Logic. I guess. It's, it's weird. Yeah, these players probably... Yep. Oh, that's going to be yep. it. Up nice smash or up throw with purple. It's going to take that kill here. So now it's one stock apiece. Logic not too far behind as he was earlier. Yeah. So he definitely has the ability to bring this back. Up throw is definitely a potent throw. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is the it's the most potent up throw in the game. The purple up throw from Olimar. Mm -hmm. It's the strongest up throw in the game, if I'm not mistaken. So I believe that. I can't think of anyone else with an amazing up throw like him. Nonetheless... Logic is still at a deficit, but again, it's he's Olimar's damage output is another thing that makes him a great character. I mean, those white Pikmin, let me tell you something, they do some work, <laughs> especially if you get them latched on, get a nice grab, let it sit, you know, let it season. <laughs> it, it it really helps Olimar. I mean, Logic hasn't taken a lot of percent either, doing a good job of just playing that neutral game, camping, and keeping Neo out. Yeah, the camping is really keeping him alive right now. Because he's just been running away and chucking Pikmin, and it's helping him stay in this game. And here he's, he's going to draw a whole new bat so he can keep doing it. There he goes, throwing Pikmin from a distance. Has those purples for that knockback, and it's doing wonders for him. For sure. And, yeah, he threw the purple there, but then uh, Neo was able to forward air it because the forward air will oh, be able to beat the purple. That yep, is, down till, down till the second jump. He wasn't paying attention. He knows he should not have let that happen because that is just a standard move from Neo at this point. Uh -huh. When you're planking as Olimar, you have to watch the spacing because you are susceptible to getting punished after you use your double jump. It's very important. So here we go. Uh, counter pick from Logic, it looks like, is going to be FD. And Neo says that's all right, so they're going to head over here. Scoreboard, Neo Gimmer, the scoreboard has a, should be one for Neo. And Neo playing a good edge guarding game right now, but he overcommits with that down air again. It's just, I feel as though if Neo didn't overcommit most of the time, he would be able to get a lot of good damage because a lot of the moves that you can use to gimp Olimar, you know, down airs and just forward airing, cutting him off when he tries to jump, those aren't moves that you really commit with. So he's going with forward smashes and down airs, and he's, he's going for these hard reads that just ends up making him lose a lot of positioning. Yeah, and Neo is known to almost exclusively go for reads, and if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, he gets destroyed. So he is a smart player, and he has a lot of the theory down. But once you pass that level of theory, he doesn't really adapt so much as just reading, constantly reading and looking for reads. Now, that right there was a good example of when Marth would forward air, and then Olimar would grab, but the jab beat it out. And if Neo had up beat there, that definitely would have been curtains. Yep. Uh, Neo probably should be uh, trying to get this kill here. Instead, Neo uh, has told me that he prefers to just play like he plays and not try and milk the kill as Marth. You know, All right. Milk the kill, yep. you you can just end up in bad situations. And there, he just gets a nice kill with an easy fare. And now Neo at tournament point and Logic is sort of has his back to the wall. I mean, he definitely has a lot of vitality left with the two stocks. And wow, that DI was was jank. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was some questionable DI. But luckily, he's staying alive thanks to good use of Shield Breaker. Even at 123, he's going to keep on living here. Rack up that damage before Logic hits him with that purple up smash. Ooh, if he had uh, just shielded yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he, right. he had the same idea. He tried to up smash there, but Neo recognizes the situation, throws out a forward air, which is going to out prioritize Logic, and 
yeah, this juggle situation, or at least the Edgeguard situation, I, I allowed Neo to get a lot of good damage. Yeah, Logic has been milking this up smash for a while, and, mm -hmm. it's, and it hasn't worked out for him because Neo knows that's exactly what he's looking for. There, again, just shields it. So it's like what Neo says, I know you're looking for an up smash, I'll just expect you to do it. See, he just holds his shield and nothing happens. And the thing is, I mean, in a situation like this, that kill percent, oh, that might, yeah, yeah, that might oh, be the stock. Oh, great DI if he, if he grabs the ledge. Perfect. All right. Barely managed to survive. Oh, but no Pikmin. They all just dipped. <laughs> They're yeah. like, nah, son, you're supposed to be dead, you know, three moves ago. So now Neo sitting three stocks to one on tournament point. Lose, but, loses winner's finals. Might be bringing it back here. And yeah, so what I was saying is that in a situation like this, when your opponent's at kill percent, you want to get the purples and the blues because you want to be able to kill your opponent from a grab. And Logic, not being the type of Olimar who arranges his Pikmin, he's not throwing off the yellows, he's not throwing off the reds, and he's trying to just use what he has, which I think is hurting him in that sense. Yeah, definitely. You know, if he, if he doesn't have the right Pikmin to kill, then he's pretty much screwed and doesn't have a way to get more in any good situations. But at any rate, Neo taking stage control and with Logic on his last stock, he needs to make something happen ASAP. Yeah, Logic was looking to get some sort of crazy edge guard there by snapping onto the stage, but uh, it didn't really work out for him. And again, I see Neo forward airing straight into the shield and he always goes for some sort of shield pressure. He never grabs. I guess he just doesn't even know that that's, that's part of the mix-up because he's just he's never done it. Well, uh, he does like to grab in other situations. I don't know why he doesn't do it after fair. He might have better ideas for it. I think he might be trying to wait on a reaction, some sort of roll or something. But at any rate... That up throw will seal the deal. All right. But, I mean... <sighs> One stock apiece. La Olimar not known for gimping Marth, but if he makes it happen, he can stay alive in this tournament. Otherwise, Neo will win it here. Yeah, this is hella grim for Logic. I mean... I don't know what uh, what the man can do, yo. <laughs> He's going to start chucking those purples to help him get back on stage. Here comes another purple, and that's going to be his ticket back on stage. But no, it's not it. Tipper Fair is going to do it, and that's going to be Neo taking grand finals here at this Xanadu Weekly. We've got some applause in the background for Neo. Congrats to Neo for sure. Yeah. And uh, we get to go home. Yay! <laughs> oh, of course.